Hello and welcome everybody to a new video. Today we're going to be discussing why Gran Turismo 7 is hated by the GT community. Because the majority of the Gran Turismo community dislike the game or had just it's definitely not going to be their favourite at minimum. And I want to find out why that's the case. Now I have a pretty good idea on why. And my reason on why I believe this is the case is because it goes right back do before the game's release. And I'm not talking about the development time they had, because they actually had adequate development time, they just spent the time on the wrong things, in my opinion. But what I'm going to say is that when they released the trailer for the game, that's when it went wrong. Because it had so many like nods to the Gran Turismo 4 trailer, that everybody was sort of perceiving it as a, like a return to something as great as Gran Turismo 4, which of course was almost impossible for Polyphony to pull off. Like, I know they could probably make a game as good as Gran Turismo 4, but I don't think they were going to. And a lot of people had their hopes up all the way. Even I did, I must say. I was like, this is going to be the greatest Gran Turismo game ever. Then it was released. And I finished all the menu books in four hours and realised that everybody else got the same menu books and the same cars, and then I realised what's left to do now? It took me four hours. Now, that's one of the major problems with Gran Turismo 7. The campaign was so lacking, and alongside that, it was all pushed together in one spot, and everybody had their hopes up so much for it being the greatest game, and then they finished the whole thing in one day. Seriously, everybody was like, oh my gosh, the game's so good, and it finished the whole, and they're like, it's going to be the greatest game ever. It was released. Everybody played it. Literally four hours later, people would finish all the menu books and be like, that kind of sucks. Then they'd look through the rest of the campaign, which is more bare bones than it is at the moment. And so, a lot of people sort of, I don't know, sort of sort of had a sour taste in their mouth from the fact that the game just isn't Gran Turismo 4, as they expected. The further it went on, the more revealing that became, as people started getting fed up with all sorts of things, alongside used car dealerships being nothing close to what they were like in Gran Turismo 4, Gran Turismo 5. I actually don't know if they're in Gran Turismo 4. I haven't played Gran Turismo 4, I should mention that. But Gran Turismo 5 used car dealerships. They were great. Gran Turismo 7 used car dealerships. Not so great. And there's like so many other things. I'm not even going to go into it, because if you want to know all the things that are wrong with the game in general, you've probably already known about it, and if you want to know about it, find somebody else's video, they'll probably do it better than I am. I'm going to say that. But yeah, that's my reason for why I believe Gran Turismo 7 is the way it is. It's down to the fact that everybody perceived it as being a return to something as great as Gran Turismo 4 when it wasn't going to be. It was never going to be as great as Gran Turismo 4, and everybody should have known that, and even myself, I didn't know that, and that's why the game failed. Everybody had their hopes up so much for such a great game that never arrived. 